So here is B at the Carolina International uh, Three Star. And I'm just working here. My bell rang, so I want to make sure I can get her up into the balance that I need. And so she prefers kind of her stronger lead is the left lead. So I'm just trying to get her in between the aids here and then to come down the center line. And now we're a little wiggly. You can see those haunches pushing a little left. And then <laughs> it was coming down into the trot and she kind of wavered a little bit and finally got it, but that's okay. And now coming across the diagonal. And then for her, I'm going to do a sitting trot. She does a lot better if I can keep that contact and help her come up through uh, versus doing a posting. We have an option of doing a posting or a rising trot or a sitting trot. So uh, I chose to sit. And now into her shoulder in. She gave me a really good angle. Could have had a little bit more bend maybe through the ribs. And we have another half 10 meter circle into our second shoulder in. And I almost had it maybe a smidge too much angle there, but I uh, was really happy with kind of how uphill she was riding. And then down into the walk transition. This is probably where I felt the most tension on her. Just because with moving up the level, I think she's just anticipating going into the canter, but we go into a halt. And then it was a little bit of a tricky situation because I was supposed to do four walk steps, but I felt her pick up the foot and put it back down, but we didn't move backwards. So the judge at C kind of dinged that uh, rein back for a lower score versus the judge at E, which they didn't see that foot move. So, you know, it's very interesting, but both judges see a different uh, angle. And again, the tension is where I felt her kind of the most uh, nervous. Kind of picked up my canter transition a smidge early just to negate any jigging. And then I had a medium down the long side just have to watch I gotta hold those haunches for coming coming in a little bit she's just very supple sometimes and very easily can push those haunches in on me I'm just finishing up my 10 meter circle and then preparing for crossing the diagonal into a canter walk She's very good for that. Maybe a little bit muddled into the uh, transition to the right lead, but I thought it was felt pretty smooth. So into my second 10 meter circle. And then again, we go across the diagonal into our second canter walk. And she was very good there. And then again, this happens pretty quickly because after that, then we have to go to a trot transition. And sometimes it can be a little hard because they're wanting to let, you know, do the canter walks. But uh, she was pretty good there. Now going into our half pass, you can just see how sensitive she can be. I'm gonna have to make sure I really wrap her around my inside leg uh, but she is quite fun to ride because she's so responsive. I just do a little positioning and then I'm going to take the half pass. And she was a very good girl for that. And I'm really happy with how her frame uh, is and how uh, well she's coming uphill and now into the stretch stretchy trot. She's doing a good job staying in the same tempo, stretching through and over her the top of her back, and then down the center line. 
So over, overall, I was really pleased with her. Just a couple of little things here and there, but it, I thought it was a very solid test. Uh, one judge scored us a 73%, so that was very awesome. Uh, but the other judge gave us a 63%, so there was quite a big gap there. But uh, we ended up scoring a 31.5, which put us into 8th place after dressage. So now heading on to show jump. And uh, you can see she just gets a little bit excited. And she's a big, strong girl sometimes, so you really have to work on managing her quite a bit because she likes to sometimes just take over. Uh, so I'm working on getting a nice quality of canter here and uh, making sure I can keep it around the turn. We get a good shot here, and then her stride just gets huge, and we actually left out a stride here. But I was like, absolutely not <laughs> down that. It's supposed to be a five stride, and she was cooking. Uh, so I want to make sure that I really get her to steady here because this four is quite easy. And then there's a bending line, and she actually does this in six, which it walked in seven. But again, her stride can be deceiving. It can, it can be pretty massive. So I want to make sure I keep her in a good spot here coming into the triple. She jumped that very well. And then a little bit here, I have to get a little close, and I wanted to do the inside turn, and she just lost her footing a little bit. Uh, but then she kind of smartened up just a smidge and listened a little bit more. I just felt like I had to be very tactful about where I asked to add and where I let her travel. And so coming to this last double, she jumped it great and we managed to have a really good clean round. And now on to cross country. Uh, so that was the first combination that we really had, well second combination on course, that was a six stride to a corner and lots of horses weren't reading that well at all but b was straight as an arrow read it beautifully um so that really gave me a good feeling and again it looks like we're going just for a sunday canter but i kind of wanted to ease her into this course i knew she's pretty quick and her stride is big so um, we were covering the ground and i just didn't kind of want to go super fast in the beginning i wanted her to really get a sense for this course and be able to read the questions uh, because this is a big course and she's still fairly green at this level since she's just moved up. So now to these uh, four stride chevrons was easy peasy for her. And I really am enjoying how she's galloping really nice and uphill and listening. She really jumped that great through the frame. And now I really want to take the time to balance coming down to the coffin. And she's listening. She's sitting down on her ho her hocks. And then I'm going to have to, once I get there, I have to ride pretty positive. And she was a good girl because she didn't quite understand. She ended up patting in the three stride to that angle when it walked in a two. But she really tried for me and I was pleased as punch getting through that coffin with her. So now coming to the first water, I gave her a little, just a little tap, because this is the biggest hanging log we've kind of jumped. And then we had another angle and she was a good girl and tried for me, even though she didn't quite, I didn't quite have the feeling that she understood, but then afterwards she did. So now coming to the Normandy bank, again, she rates down super easy and I can ride her nice and positive and she finished up the course amazing. We were just 11 seconds slow and finished in 10th. So I was super pleased with B.